when you look at uh, VAT being imposed now, Suresh, uh, and looking back at uh, budget speech that were made by Ravi Karunayaka and Basit Rajapaksa to impose super gain tax on the rich, that seems to be a much more feasible and a better option than increasing uh, VAT to 18% and bringing forth, uh, bringing forth areas that were not even uh, covered uh, by VAT uh, anymore. Why there's a cause why we are in this situation, why the nation is uh, suffering like this today. That is because of the wrongdoers. Even in 2015, why did the government was voted out? Because there was the nation, the country as a whole, basically agreed there was, there were, how do you say? Corruption and... Corruption, except There were a lot of issues with yes, the government. Yes, so that's why, that that's why that uh, change happened in 2015. And in the 2015... Well, came after that made mistakes, but still for all In yes. 2015 budget speech, there was a reference to uh, imposition of tax on wrongdoers. The budget speech had this phrase, taxes on the wrongdoers. It is that concept of the taxes of the wrong the wrongdoers that was uh, labeled as super gains tax. And that was collected not exactly from the wrongdoers, but from the uh, so the people who made uh, the super rich. Yeah, super rich, or let me say the people had uh, High, well, high, high revenue, right? High so corporates as well as the individuals. So, so there, there is a, uh, there is, there is a, how do I say? This is, this is the concept of basically collection of the taxes from the uh, people who can afford to pay. The broad shoulders should bear more taxes. So that is the concept of, that Adam Smith has referred to as the uh, canon of uh, equity. The brunt should be on the broader shoulders who can bear it, not, not, on, not from uh, everyone.